Man, I miss my crew. Everybody in my crew. Cup of coffee. Empty life support. All of my model ships? Hey, the bathrooms are not enterable anymore. It was kind of useless anyway. <laughs> oh, whoa! What the hell? What happened to Kasumi's stuff? It's like a playroom in here now. What is this thing? This was back in Mass Effect 2 as well, right? Like, but what is it? <laughs> Some sort of relaxation device? It's nice that the ship is upgraded with more luxurious stuff, but at a time like this, when we have so many people who are no longer with us, it feels a little bit like, I don't have time to relax and look at all that, you know? Hmm. Not much space in here, huh? Wish we had more space for everybody. Samara's room? Well, Samara never decorated her room anyway. So it looks pretty much like it did before. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is not the only space in the Normandy. We also have engineering. It's weird. Seeing the same ship. Roughly the same ship, but like nobody's here. I guess this was what it was like back in the beginning, too. In two? Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR1 made me an obvious choice. Oh. So, what do you think of our SR2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you. And I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? It's fair. Fair. Not everybody can just get up and go. Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. How does Shepard feel about the Alliance? Your Alliance first, that's the way it should be. Sounds like she thinks pretty highly of the organization. Although back in 2, we didn't really... we weren't really in contact with them. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Hopefully they'll be okay. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus Drive Corps has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new Drive Corps is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this Corps would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well-balanced during a firefight. <laughs> Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? <laughs> we should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. It's kind of funny that the Normandy is a stealth ship, but Shepard herself is not exactly stealthy. Normally. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. <laughs> yeah, but I saw through her. 
Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant <laughs> Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. How much time have you guys had with the Normandy the past six months? Who was even on this ship in the past six months? Hmm. Edie's listening to everything we're saying, man. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. All right, it's a little bit lonely here for now. It's just you. But hopefully, we'll get a big crew going on and you won't be all alone. Uh, Sovereign model? That was a space hamster. Was that the one I owned? Well, you gotta come back out again. Oh! Hey! Hey, what? Wait, why are all my models on the bottom deck here? So I got grounded, and then people were just working on the ship, and then they didn't even take care of my hamster? Is that what's going on? I, I can't pick you up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Little hamster. Are you back in my cabin now? Poor thing. You've just been down here. Nobody to feed you. But where are my fish, though? <laughs> I'm so sad. Oh, I didn't look at the drive core. There's like a forest field around it permanently. Um, that's it. Nothing to report, Commander. Okay, sounds good to me. It's gonna take some time to get used to again. Oh! You get your own room. Makes sense, I suppose. Wow, you're all set up. Even got like a mini lounge here. Missing people. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Hey, 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 this is about getting the right information to the right people. This is not about you getting more ratings, okay? Can we change the focus a little bit on here? Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Wow. That's quite impressive. Commander. Okay. I wonder what Emily Wong is doing. We saw Al Jelani, but not Emily Wong yet. Shuttle bait. This is new. Actually, it's not. It was back in one, right? But not and then in two, we couldn't access it anymore. Armor locker. Again! You really want me to look at this, huh? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the hoodie. No. No. Just stick with the first one for now. It's basically the Cerberus outfit, but like the Alliance edition. Well, we get to see the stats now. That's one good thing. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, leave it alone for now. We'll have a think about it later on. Hi. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? 
Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. With my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Good, because I was under the impression that previously we were the ones piloting our own shuttle. Now we have an actual person. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV what? Hawking. Flying F-61 Tridents, mostly. What is that? I love the Trident. It practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy Retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. I'm guessing that's the dog. <laughs> okay, way to make an entrance. I didn't hear anything Cortez said. <laughs> what happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. Okay. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. I like how we're asking about everybody's families, because everybody has a stake in this war. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The Collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. I was wondering why Ferris Fields sounded so familiar. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Whoa. Yes, Commander. Maybe not the right choice of words, right after he just said his husband died. <laughs> Weapon bench. Okay, coo coo coo. Hello, K9? You look a lot like one of those, I mean, those enemies that we always see. Weapon upgrades? Okay, I'm okay for now. I don't know how much money this is worth, and this costs a little bit of money. We'll see. Procurement interface. Casa Fabrication. Spectre Requisitions. Ah, so this is the same as that terminal back on the Citadel. And then Casa Fabrication is just the brand. Model Alliance Kodiak, heck yeah. My first purchase. A model. <laughs> shotgun Spare Thermal Clip. Increases spare shot capacity by 50%. Okay, we could try it. Again, though, I don't know how much this is going to last us. Ooh, whoa, this is like Iron Man. Cerberus Field Officer armor. It's expensive. This is the other sniper rifle, I think. The one I, I didn't like. We'll see. Mr. Vega? James? I can see you love working out. <clears throat> 
Hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the castle? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <clears throat> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <clears throat> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <clears throat> Um, uh, are people going to take this the wrong way? I did just come to chat, but I might stay for the show. <sighs> Have to work harder than that if you want me to blush. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? What do you want? Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. Whoa! <laughs> Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Oh! <sighs> nice. Sorry! What do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. In the colony? It was either them or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. Are you a shrink, too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So, maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. I am really sorry about the nose, James. That was not fair of me. I just kind of snuck up on you. Really sorry. Yeah, this guy's a hothead. <laughs> Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> You're cute. So oh, I'll let God. you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. Oh god, no! Whoa! Hey! This is Mass Effect 3, okay? I don't want to mess around that much. The messing around is for the not the end of the world parts, but this is a little bit... <laughs> we don't have time to think about this, okay? Now it's it's just a little bit too dire. No. No, I don't want to mess around. Especially when Liara's on the same ship, okay? Like, back in 2, at least Liara and Thane were on different places. That's how I justified it, but now, <laughs> not in the same ship. Hey again. What's up? You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. You want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? Hey, yo, I'm really sorry. Do you need, like, a tissue for that nose? Uh. It's insane, though, trying to watch scrawny-ass Shepard trying to beat up James. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. 
It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. <laughs> I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other? Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. There it is! The Mass Effect classic. Crew member with daddy issues. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So I'm a Lola, huh? Yeah, my best friend's sister growing up was Lola. Older sister. Hot. Tough. Right. <laughs> Yo, it sounds like you're openly hitting on me. Not sure how to feel about that. I'll talk to you later. You bet. Okay. We have a quick understanding of how the Normandy is now. Pretty bare bones crew, but hopefully we'll be recruiting more people in due time. Dude, what the heck were you doing to my freaking cabin? Why are all the models just scattered across the place? Put it back in my room. It should all be back in my room. They should have never left my room to begin with! There's a shuttle. Oh god, why are there so many? All of my models! Guys! You're breaking my collector heart! Breaking my stuff. I mean the- like a puzzle collector, like a stamp collector, that kind of collector. <laughs> Not the Reaper kind of collector. Uh, let's read a little bit. 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. They are believed to have built the mass relays and the citadel, which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Prothean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. While surprisingly intact for their age, Functioning examples of Prothean paleotechnology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities and derelict stations clean. Some believe the Protheans meddled in the evolution of younger races. The Hanar homeworld of Kaje, for example, shows clear evidence of former Prothean occupation. The presence of a former Prothean observation post on Mars has caused a rebirth of interventionary evolutionists among humans. These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encounters with aliens. Hmm. Background on Prothean stuff that basically we all know already, because maybe for a lot of people, Mass Effect 3 was their first Mass Effect. Yeah, so I don't think we need to go through stuff like Asari, Turian, and Salarians again. Were the first. Yep. Anything new? Uh, known associates? Admiral Stephen Hackett is a decorated officer in the Systems Alliance, currently assigned to Arcturus Station on the far side of the Sol Relay. In the battle for the Citadel, Admiral Hackett commanded the 5th Fleet. Following that victory, he was promoted to head of the Alliance military. Mm. Hackett was born to a single mother in Buenos Aires in 2134. When his mother died in the pandemic of 2146, oh, he was placed in the Advanced Training Academy for Juveniles where his superior talents in science and leadership quickly became evident. Hackett enlisted in 2152, volunteering for high-risk missions to colonize space beyond the Sol Relay. He was commissioned as a second lieutenant on Arcturus Station in 2156, and soon proved his ability in the first contact war. His rare ascent from enlisted man to admiral remains an Alliance legend. Being, yeah, it's a whole thing again about how you, you're competent at one job and then you get promoted, but you're not necessarily a good leader. It's tough. Uh, sorry, I think I noticed a typo here. It should be the pandemic of 2021. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, 
we pretty much know this stuff already, but it was interesting to get to know about Hackett's background a little bit, so I guess we will look at all these other ones too. Admiral David Edward Anderson is a career military officer in the Systems Alliance Navy. Born in London in 2137, he later moved to Arcturus Station and became the first graduate of the Alliance's now renowned N7 Marine program. Anderson is one of the Alliance's most decorated Special Forces operatives and served with honor during the First Contact War. He was the original captain of the SSV Normandy before relinquishing command to his XO, Commander Shepard. After the Alliance victory in the Battle of the Citadel, Anderson briefly served as the Citadel's first human counselor. Briefly. He soon became embroiled in a Cerberus plot to abduct his friend Kaylee Sanders, however, and learned that he was unable to live a life without action. He stepped down as counselor and returned to the military to prepare for the Reaper invasion. The Alliance Parliament named Donald Udina as his successor. I wish they addressed this. Like, in within the game itself? Because what if I don't read this and I never find out? Um, yeah, I mean, even when we picked them, did get the sense that Udina is better at the politics game than Anderson? Lieutenant Commander Ashley Williams is a career military officer with the Systems Alliance. Born in 2158 to a military family, Williams enlisted directly out of high school, splitting time between Earth and hostile environment training on Titan. After earning numerous commendations early in her career, Williams became a platoon guide on Eden Prime, where she was the only member of her unit to survive the Geth attack. Williams then served as gunnery chief under Commander Shepard on the SSV Normandy and was promoted to lieutenant commander after the Battle of the Citadel. More recently, an Alliance tribunal called on Williams to testify about her experience with the Reapers. Ashley's letting her hair down now. Kind of looks like, I don't know, doing the whole supermodel thing, even though we're soldiers here. Dr. Liara Tassoni is an Asari information broker with a background in scientific research on Prothean technology. Born on Thessia in 2077, she is the only child of the late matriarch Benezia. Although mother and daughter became estranged in the years before Benezia was indoctrinated by the Reaper known as Sovereign, Tassoni is also a highly trained biotic who served under Commander Shepard aboard the SSV Normandy before the ship was destroyed in a collector attack. Before she became involved in galactic affairs, Dr. Tassoni spent 50 years researching the Protheans' technology and the mystery of their extinction. She now divides her time between uncovering Prothean ruins and consulting with noteworthy representatives of the various Citadel races. She's come a long time since the little girl we saw back in one. Flight Lieutenant Jeff Joker Moreau is a respected pilot with the Alliance Navy. Born and raised on Arcturus Station, he is widely considered to be the best helmsman in the Systems Alliance. Moreau enlisted with the Navy directly out of school and quickly gained the respect of his superiors. He served as pilot of both the Normandy SR-1 and its successor, the SR-2 and was at their respective helms during the Battle of the Citadel and the assault on the Collectors. Moreau suffers from Vrolic Syndrome, a rare debilitating disorder also known as brittle bone disease. It's easy to forget because we meet so many people, but like literally every single person that we see in the Alliance are the best of the best, including myself. Yeah, the Normandy crew is really tip top. Dr. Karen Chakwas is a trauma surgeon and a major in the Alliance Navy. She served on the SSV Normandy under both Captain Anderson and Commander Shepard, and was aboard the ship when it was destroyed by the Collectors. She later quit the Alliance in order to rejoin Shepard on the Cerberus-built Normandy SR-2. Along with most of the 2nd Normandy's crew, Dr. Chakwas was kidnapped by the Collectors and taken beyond the Omega-4 relay, where Commander Shepard eventually rescued her. After the Alliance impounded the Normandy SR-2, an inquiry found that Dr. Chakwas had no significant role in or provable knowledge of Cerberus's criminal activities. She has since rejoined the Alliance. <laughs> what about me? I have plenty of knowledge in Cerberus criminal activities. Okay. All right. Would now be a good time to go to Palavin or should we do the side stuff? Why don't we look at the galaxy map first? See what it looks like? 
Oh, did uh, Glyph say I had a message earlier? Oh my god. It's remarkably private. From Liara. Hope you'll like what I've done with the room. Come back if there's anything else you'd like to do with it. Dot dot dot. Oh. Okay. What did you do with the room? I didn't see anything. <laughs> Spar later. From James Vega. Hey Lola, thanks for the practice. Let me know if you ever want a rematch. Vega. Glad you stopped by from Steve Cortez. Good to see you, Commander. Come by again if you want to talk shop. Getting the sense that these ones are probably from the app? Hmm? Focusing on all the right things. Diana. Getting fan mail from Celerian Space. A lot of I sign up because I heard about Earth. Every little bit counts. Okay, good. Prove your worth. In a crew of military people, you gotta prove that that space, that room that we gave you, is worth it. Conquered systems. Clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed via the Normandy Stealth Drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. Oh my god. Sigurd's Cradle. Cerberus Lab. Okay, there's something we want to do there. The lab. Rescue Turian Primarch. Okay, Reapers, again. Recover Prothean Artifact. Jeez, they're like right here. Holy crap, there's so many. Oh no. Um... Actually, every single place we want to go to, basically, this is the only place that doesn't have Reapers. Oh god. Um, let's start with the Cerberus Lab then. Search and Rescue. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can de detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, fuel as you fly around a system. Beware, however, that each time a pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. Okay, that sounds super annoying. What, so no more planet scanning? Oh, the font is so big now, I don't like it. For people playing on TVs, I guess. Watson? Known in human media for two things, spectacular tides because of the large moon and the bureaucratic snafu over which Earth nations got to settle there first. Garden World, claimed by Chinese People's Federation, United North American States, and the European Union. So everybody claimed it? Oh yeah, I remember this thing, the, the compromise. Wait, is this the same as Mass Effect 2? It might be, yeah, because I it looks like the same sort of formatting too, and I definitely remember that compromise thing. Maybe, but yeah, no scanning? I don't think so. Maybe some of the planets are repeats, some of them are new. Franklin... There's two Alliance spaceports here, and some fighter squadrons. Hmm. Darwin. Oh yeah, Skepsis. Skepsis. Did we have a Skepsis before? Okay, this is definitely from Mass Effect 2, I remember it. Darwin, one of the worst places for life in the galaxy. Okay, let me try out this, um... I found something. What does that mean? Start scanner. Do I have to install black market mods again? What are we doing here? All the sensitivity on this is so low, my mouse is like dragging all across and we're not even... Ugh! Hello? Oh, Javelin Missile Launchers, okay. Is there more? Is that a... Hold on. No, that's... Is that a thing? Like that green line? No, it's not, right? So... Bye bye Thank you, but no thank you. Okay, great! Great! Aww. Uh, okay, maybe we'll just go to the Cerberus lab from here. Fuel is still a thing. Oh, Skepsis, we still gotta like look at the stuff. Oh, the percentages! Okay. 25% assets recovered. The sense I'm getting is that the scale of the collectibles is going to be a lot more increased from 2. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Signal confirmed. Lena. 
cloaked, a methane clouded hothouse planet. Mining, there's a lot of mining here. Oh my god, why is the sensitivity on this so freaking low? Okay. Oh, that's a lot of money! Credits recovered. Awesome. Just picking up money off a random planet. Wreckage of a fuel depot. Recovered 350 units of fuel, <laughs> which is full. Okay. Thanks, I guess. 100% assets recovered. Okay, good. So, Sanctum. Proof of the old spacer adage. Just because it's a garden world doesn't mean it's a picnic. Yeah, I remember this too. Yeah. So I'm not gonna spend too much time reading it then, but uh, apparently carbon dioxide levels here are pretty high. Travelers should bring masks just in case. And piracy is at an all-time high. We only have two people here. Let's go. Uh, Liara and James. James I did a little bit. Liara? Singularity I feel like is a sure bet. Liara and Singularity, that's just such an iconic combo. Increases hold duration by 30%. Additional enemies can be lifted before Singularity fades. Increases impact radius by 25%. Hmm... I'm not sure. Maybe... Mess up everyone for a shorter amount of time. Damage, 25 damage per second to lifted targets. So that would have been really good with the holding. Increases recharge speed. No, it's okay, we'll just disable them. They don't need to be damaged. Expand the field by 35% for 10 seconds. Detonate? Okay, detonate the field and make sure it, it hurts people. Okay, good, good. Stasis? Let's put one in there so far. We probably want at least one of each, right? So yeah. Pure Biotic. Boosts Biotic and Defensive abilities. Yeah, just make sure you stay alive a little bit longer. Stasis and Singularity. I feel like these are pretty similar. Hmm. I'm a Biotic too, so I don't have to rely too much on Liara. Warp Ammo. Warp. I have warp. Uh, leave it at this for the moment. James, fortification. James is definitely the kind of guy that goes melee into a field, right? Just like Grunt? Yeah. Carnage. Rip targets into shreds. Effective against armor. Arms Master. We better get this all sorted out before new people come in because, man, there's so much right now. Arms Master, sure. Frag Grenades. Rip your enemies of heart. Sure. Increases damage by 30%. Increases damage to organics by 40% over 10 seconds or have more grenades overall. That. Yeah, okay. All right. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a Secret Service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what service is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. I can't see Cerberus working with the Reapers though, that just seems insane. I imagine they're all trying to, like we're all trying to stop the Reapers, just using different methods. Not necessarily... Jack, use some tech with a Reaper signature. That's your first sample to grab. Updating your nav point. On my way. Okie dokie, everybody. Warp ammo. James, incendiary ammo. Me, 
heck ton of stuff. Oh my god. We have to experiment a little bit with how to, um... Yeah, use our stuff. Synergize our powers and all that. Wait. Oh, there's so many different ways. What the heck? Free money! Quiet. It's very quiet here. Uh, what is that? General entry from C to Labby. Finally here! Wow, the troops here are really intense. No one smiles. Ever. And suicide on capture orders? Seriously? They call it training inter integration. I start being integrated tomorrow. Can't wait. What is that thing? Is that like a battle thing? Looks kind of like a grenade. Okay. Oh! Sweet. Oh! Be careful, be careful, I'm not invincible. The smoke really makes it so you can't see anything. We have to be quite careful. Okay, why would I want to use stasis over singularity? Right now, I'm not sure. People getting splattered. Oh! Yeah, I got him behind. Containment system. Oh, Liara! Damn, you guys are like way more up ahead than me. I'm just hanging back here. There's James. James. Free money. Oh, this goes back to the beginning. Okay, I see. Yup. The containment system. Well, that's weird looking. Guess we found it. Oh, this is the Reaper artifact. I see. They just leave it lying here? Meet you at the landing pad. That's it? Wait, don't we want these ones then? There's other ones here too. You don't want any of them? Just that one? Really? No, we gotta bring back one at a time. Good work. Why? This is kind of dumb. Combined arms. Oh, I really can't see when they do that. I was hoping the the throw would help me aim, but not the case. That's a damn turret! Oh god, whoa! Whoa! Nope, went in a little bit too close. Nope, so I can't really... I can't do that. I can't go in that close. Liara! Do some singularity or something. How close can I get? I gotta still feel it out. I can't see! Oh! Okay, that does help with getting through the walls. No. Oh. Hey, I noticed the squad powers are... They show one on the mini screen now. Can I select it with a command, maybe? 
It kind of slows things down because every time I have to like go into the pause menu to select the power. Service engineer. We saw this already. This was all here. Oh boy. Oh boy. And then James. Load of ammo. Cortez, second sample secured. Heading back to you now. Negative, Commander. Head got hot. Had to burn out. Got three bars on my six. Taking fire. Stretch that. Make it four. We'll rendezvous when I can. Out. We just need to hold out until Cortez can pick us up. Nothing like having your back to the wall. Never said it would be easy. Okay, great, great. We've only got a little pistol here, actually. Maybe not so great. Liara? Oh boy, oh boy, I can't really... We gotta like... Oh god, they're flanking us! We gotta go around, you guys... You guys stay here. I'll try to go around. Stay focused. This isn't over yet. I can do this all day. Where are you guys? You guys supporting me? Someone is trying to get me from somewhere else. Yeah, that doesn't help. So far, there's like little things that are annoying me. I don't like how it changes my direction automatically whenever I'm in a corner and cover. Cortez, do you copy? What's your status? Engaging multiple targets. Time for something a bit risky. Lieutenant! Last stand, Commander. Just stay focused and keep at it. Yo, where are my people? Where are my people? Carnage is for shields. Major collateral damage to enemies nearby. Oh, also for armor. Oh, no, 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 no. Rip a target to shreds, not shields. Okay, but there's no armor here. Is that okay? Whoa! Holy crap. It came up right in front of me. Are my people still... I don't know where my guys are. Oh yeah, they're still over there. Maybe I gotta like go a little bit further. Or go in. Oh, they're all here. They're all here. Use a singularity or something. Oh, not again. Gotta be careful. James is doing nothing. Oh, whoa, are you? Oh, okay. James? Oh, he's preoccupied here as well. Yo, Liara, left shift. And first aid. What, you mean just unity, right? Okay. Ooh, this is kind of insane here. Cortez! Sometime today! Do you copy? I hope he's still alive. He'll make it. Just keep this landing pad clear. Who is making that noise? Yo! Commander had to go dark side to shake him. Coming in hot. Be ready. We're ready for extraction as soon as you can get here. 
I thought there were a few more Reaper artifacts, though. This is where they're Where are they even coming from? Like, what is even down there? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I feel like it's... I feel like there's a bug here, because wh who is making that sound the whole time? And Liara's down again. Come on, Liara. Point. Ready for pickup. Here we go. Who was that? Yeah, the shotgun is pretty okay if we're in the range, which we always... we're not always in. What about the shuriken? Let's go! Commander, we've got our best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. Yikes, that was pretty crazy. Oh, money is coming in, though. That's good. Crucible. Completing the Crucible device will require entire systems of resources and skilled workers, as well as the galaxy's brightest scientists. The Javelin missile launchers. They release dark energy upon impact. Hmm. Huh. And we just picked it up off a random planet? Ex Cerberus. Uh, operatives abandoning Cerberus coming to help the Alliance. Cerberus research data. Okay. Good, good, good. At a time like this, I don't know. Uh, we're all still like. People are leaving Cerberus to go to the Alliance, leaving the Alliance to go to Cerberus, and. When really, I wish we were all a bit more united. <laughs>